Hey cooks, today we're going to try out the new air fryer lid for our Instant Pot. This fits the six quart Instant Pot and we are going to make some herb roasted chicken breast. Yeah, chicken breast in the Instant Pot. We're going to pressure cook it and then we're going to air fry it to crisp it up. So join me as we make Instant Pot herb chicken breast. So we're going to be using an Instant Pot Ultra. This air fryer works on a lot of different six quart models. So I'll put a link down in the description to it so you can check to see if it works with your model. So one of the reasons I wanted to get this as to opposed to the Duo Crisp that comes with an eight quart Instant Pot and the crisper lid, the air fryer lid, is I already have an Instant Pot and I didn't want to buy another one. It is a bigger one, but I really didn't want another one. So I went ahead and got the, the separate optional air fryer lid to go with it. Now I know what you're saying. Why, Amy, are you putting your Instant Pot on top of your cook cooktop? Normally, I would say, do not do this. So many people put their Instant Pot on their cooktop, and then what happens? They accidentally turn on their cooktop, and they melt down their Instant Pot. Um, the only reason I do this is my, cook my cooktop has a cutoff switch. So I can do that with this uh cooktop but if you have a regular normal cooktop i wouldn't do that just you know as a quick note i've seen that happen to a lot of people and if you see me do this it's only because my cooktop has a cut off switch so this is the instant pot air fryer lid and i got this for my birthday and i think it's pretty neat what's interesting about it is it comes with a base so you have somewhere to store it and somewhere to put it when this gets hot. That was my, one of my concerns is where do I put this air fryer lid when it's hot? So normally you're going to use your pressure lid on one of these. So this is our pressure lid. We're all used to that, right? The way the air fryer lid works is the air fryer lid just goes on here, just like this. And so you're no, you're no longer going to need the controls on your Instant Pot. You're going to be using the controls on the air fryer. So the Instant Pot, you know, you can take the cord off it if you want to. They have this big cord on here with these little flappers on it. And I think that's so you don't plug more than one thing into your plug. Because if you do, you pretty much pop your circuit, right? Because I think this uses a lot of watts. Or, or you're going to cook it with the Instant Pot, right? Yeah, know. they don't want you turning this on with this on here, right? Because this definitely um, cannot take the heat on this. This is just your air fryer. So there's your air fryer fan under there. And that'll go on there. So you won't be running your Instant Pot while you're running your air fryer. You'll only be running the air fryer part. So when you're done with it, you can just put it on this thing, screw it down for storage. So let me come, let me grab some herbs out of our container garden out there. We're going to chop those herbs. Then we're going to get to um, the first stage, which would be pressure cooking the chicken, the chicken breast. So I'll be right back. Okay. So Eric just went out and picked some herbs from his container garden. And what we have here is rosemary. This rosemary actually lasted through the winter. He babied it along and there was a lot of times I was like, toss that thing out, but it survived. And so we have rosemary again and here's some thyme. So we're going to go ahead, make sure you get fresh herbs because it's going to make all the difference in the chicken. It will, I mean, the flavors are just incredible compared to the dried. It'll give you a nice, fresh, really herby flavor. That's fantastic so the way you um the way you handle this is this is your time and you really just want these little leaves 
So I just grab it here and skin it. <laughs> it's kind of time consuming to do this, but um, just put on your favorite music or your favorite YouTube video, right? <coughs> and uh, listen to that while you're doing your time. Okay, so we got all our thyme leaves off here, and I'm just using a chef's knife. You just want to give it a pinch grip, and you don't really need to do much. Just place your hand on top of the knife here. Don't place it under the blade, right? And my board's moving a little bit because I didn't wet my towel underneath it. <laughs> So we're going to take our bowl here and we're going to get our herbs off here. So I'm obviously not going to use this much. We'll just use the rest of it in another dish. So here's our rosemary and it's the same thing with rosemary. You just want the leaves off of here like this. You don't want the, the stems. Okay, here's our rosemary, and I'm just going to do the same. Woo! Rosemary flies all over the place because it's a very sharp time. <laughs> now, when you use rosemary, just beware. Rosemary is very strong, so you want to use just a little bit of it because you will turn it into a Christmas tree. Trust me, I've done that. <laughs> so you just want to go light on the rosemary. We have so much of it. If you plant one rosemary plant, you will have enough rosemary to take you through the whole summer and fall. Fall is really when you're going to use it, right, Boo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turkeys, put it in your stuffings, soups, Chickens. chicken, roasts, all that fun stuff. Okay. So let me get out the chicken. Smack the chicken. So I'm going to check the chicken and see if we need to do any trimming. This is bone in, skin on chicken breast and one of the reasons i bought it like this is these are great for roasting because when the bone is in and the skin is on it will base that chicken a little bit better than it was just boneless skinless chicken breast um let's see here this is just some like cartilage i'm gonna take that off this chicken actually looks pretty good there's a little bit of extra fat here I'm going to get rid of. And this package had two of these. Um, looks pretty good. Okay, it looks like it's time to season. Okay, so I got all washed up and now I have a single glove on. Um, I'm going to use this oil, olive oil spray. Um, I use the stuff that has no propellants or anything else. So this only has organic extra virgin olive oil. That's the only ingredient. And um, so I don't use those other kind of sprays. So we're just going to go ahead and give it a little bit of spray so we can get stuff sticking. And I'm going to give it some salt to taste, right? I have some lemon pepper. And I'm going to give it some lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. Just be careful. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to hit it with a little bit of our rosemary. Rosemary. 
and some of our beautiful ebu thyme. I usually put more thyme than I do uh, other stuff. And I'm gonna give it a little spray so I can get that stuff to stick on there. Okay, so, oh my gosh, this looks nice already. Um, give it a little salt. Give it a little lemon papa. 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 Papa, papa. Go a little under there. Give me a little rosemary and some thyme. Oh my gosh, looks really good. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna place this over here and a pate. Woo! Okay, time to set up the pressure cooker. Okay, so I have our Instant Pot here. And what I've done is I have this little rack. Um, it's got some little feet on it. You just kind of want the chicken up above the, uh, the bottom and out of the water. We're going to put about a cup and a half of water here in the bottom. You have to have that water in there to get this to come to pressure. And let's put the chicken in. I want to get my hands dirty. <laughs> so, we have chicken number one. And I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. And you want this on ceiling. This is an ultra, so it automatically will go on to ceiling. So we're going to be using the pressure cook uh, setting on high. We are going to be going 10 minutes, so we're good to go on that. And we're going to go ahead and hit start. So it's going to come to pressure. It's going to cook for the 10 minutes. And uh, then we'll be able to air fry. So we'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to release the pressure. I'm going to take the lid off. Ooh, 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 ooh. Chicken's looking kind of good. Let's see what temp we are at. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to put the air fryer lid on now. And we're going to crisp it up. Okay, so I usually do these in five minute bursts just so I can watch it. I'm going to, so our air fryer lid is on. We're gonna go ahead and hit air fry. I'm gonna do it at 375 for five minutes. And after five minutes, I'm gonna check it. It usually takes about 10 minutes with this air fryer lid. Um, so we'll see after five minutes how far along we are. Okay, the first five minutes is done, so let's take this lid off. Woo -hoo! It's looking kind of good. Temp-wise, it's definitely done. And it looks kind of crispy-wise, it is too. So let me go get a board so I can take this off and we can carve these babies. So I'm just getting this delicious chicken out of our cooker here. Mm! Wow, it smells fantastic with those herbs. <laughs> I'm going to grab a piece of foil here. Woo. And I'm going to give us a little foil. So we're going to let this rest maybe 10 minutes or so and then we'll carve it up. Okay, so the chicken looks Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. 
Wow. So let's give it a little carve. You want to give it a little carve, boo? Sure. Mm-hmm. You think I can carve this? I just want to take this rest off of this bone. <laughs> can I do that? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a carver, so don't follow my lead on this. <laughs> Oof. You like skin on or skin off? So good. It smells so good. The herbs just like mmm. It's hot. Wow. It looks so good. Mmm. Nice and tender. Wow. This is really good. Really good. Let's see. Can I carve this one? Hmm. There's a lot of meat still on there. Carve it however you want it, depending on how you're going to use it. Hmm. You want to taste it, Bill? There's a lot of herb flavor. Ah. Hmm. You can yep. really taste the herbs. Yeah. You know that lemon pepper is store-bought stuff. It's not like we grew our own lemon tree and mm. milked it and dried it out. But you get just that little bit of a lemony taste, and that really uh, helps. Um, I, I tasted that right away, and then the herbs. I don't mm. even taste salt. Do you, Boo Boo? Mm -mm. I mean, the meat. I think it has just enough salt. It does. It doesn't taste mm -hmm. bland at all. We didn't even. Um, yeah. We didn't even brine it. No, no, we're not, we didn't brine it. Mm. Yeah. Tasty. Well, now that's tasty, guys. I'm just gonna shred this. Yeah, I'll probably shred pretty good. Um, it's really, like I said, it's really tender, um, and it's got plenty of moisture. Um, breasts are notoriously bad for drying out if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but the uh, Instapot did a great job. Yeah, it did a great job. Great job. Look how easy that just shreds off of there. Yeah. Oh, gosh, and the herbs just... Yeah. There's nothing like fresh herbs. No, there's plenty of flavor. <laughs> I mean, you, you know... Oh, okay. Bad chicken when it's bland. Yeah. The herbs just. They bring it alive. They do. And. <laughs> in a way that dry herbs can't do. <laughs> so. That's a plug for um, planting an herb garden. Um, delicious. So, cooks, if you want to cook a nice and juicy roasted herb chicken breast. Try out your Instant Pot and the air fryer lid. I think this is a fantastic combination and I think it's just as good like this is when you roast it in the oven. I think it's actually more tender. Um, well, it's a lot faster. I mean, this, yeah, it's faster. Been, this would have taken almost an hour. An hour. I think it took about 30 minutes. And you still run the risk of drying it out in the oven unless you foil it. Yeah. Hmm, really, really good. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe below and join us on our cooking journey. Um, we are literally training ourselves how to cook, and we would love to have you join us on this journey. 
Also, you can catch me on my Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash Amy Learns to Cook. We talk about everything, gadgets, cooking, recipes, everything, right? We're a big family in that group. Also, you can catch me on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. And on Instagram, I'm at Cookin' with Amy. Now, we're going to, mmm, that's so good. We're going to put this chicken back in the foil, put some rice in here, and in a couple minutes, we're going to have some chicken and rice for dinner. Because we have a lot of good juice in there. Yeah, tons of good juice in here, so we're going to cook the rice in that juice. So, hmm, yeah, let's get cooking. All right. So we're going to be using an Instapot, Insta. 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 